Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover another very important topic related to the Red Hat exam. And today we are going to focus on the networking concepts and we will learn how to change the host name of the system. So networking is one of the important topics and many of you have already asked me about this. What kind of questions come from this topic? So the question mainly comes regarding the configuration of the network and changing the host name of the system. So today we will learn the basic concepts how to set up the network or how to modify an existing network settings and you will be easily able to attempt all the questions related to networking concepts that can come in the exam. For this particular topic you need to know the basic networking concepts which I will not focus on this explicitly for that you can look up any video on the net related to the basic networking concepts but I'm just going to talk about two things IP address and network mask. The IP address is the address which uniquely identifies the system on the network. So you will find an IP address something like this 192.168.5.3 so it can be any such address. The IP address is a 32 bit number which is expressed in decimal as four octets. So for example, this 192.168.5.3, these are the four octets. So the range in each octet can vary from zero to 255. So one thing will be there, this IP address will be given to you in the question or this has to be there. Another important term that will come is network mask. So every IP address helps you to identify two things. One is the network ID and another is the host ID. So it will tell you the ID of the network and then within the network which host you want to communicate to. Now how to identify that network ID and the host ID for that we have the network mask. For example in this case the network mask is 255.255.255.0. So this tells you that the first three octets of the IP address will give you the network ID. So 192.168.5 that is the network ID. This identifies the network. So whatever mask is given you have to do what whatever is the IP address so like in this case your IP address that you have to assign will be 192.168.5.3 slash 24. So you will write slash 24. Okay, when we will be doing the configuration part. How the first of 55 stands for 8. The next one again 8. Again 8 and so on. So these are the 8 bits. 255 is 8 bits. So if it, the network mask is 255.255.0.0 then instead of 24 you will write 16. This means 16 bits will be used to identify the network ID. Okay, so these two things you need to understand then only you will be able to attempt the question. Now to view the existing network information you can use the command IP address show. So let me show you this. So if I run the command IP address show so you see that it gives you the information about all the networks. The one which you are concerned is the second one. So this is the one which I am using. First one is the loopback address, the others are the address for the virtual machine. So this is the one which we are interested in ENS 160. Few things that you should focus on the in the output. So what you can do is since I am interested only in ENS 160 so I can write address show ENS 160. So now this tells me only about this particular interface ENS 160. So the few things is first one is you can see here up so this means that that the it's an active interface and the status is up so this is the interface that I'm using so this is an active interface this is the IP address 192.168.224.128 so this is the IP address of my system slash 24 so network mask is 24 255.255.255.0 the link second line link slash ether this specifies the MAC address of the system also the 
IP6 address is also given. Okay, but we need to be uh, focusing only upon two things. One is this IP address. Okay, IP4 address, network mask, and whether it is up or not. Okay, so this will do for us. Now another thing or another command is ping. Okay, ping tells you or it helps you to check whether uh, your system is able to connect with the destination address or not. For example, let's see if I want to check whether I'm able to reach Google or not. So I can simply write this. Okay, so if I am getting the these bytes back, this means my system is connected with the internet. I'm able to access Google. So I'm able to access the network on my system. Now for configuring a network, you can use two things either NMCLI, which is a command based system. So you need to use the NMCLI command or you can use the NMTUI, which is a sort of graphical interface. So I'm just going to focus on NMCLI and I'll also recommend you to practice only using NMCLI, which will be very easy for you for the implementation part. So you will be required only two things. One is either you will be required to create a new connection. So you can use NMCLI CON that stands for connection. So NMCLI con add if you want to create a new connection. If you want to modify an existing connection, then you need to use NMCLI con mod. So only these two commands you need to understand. There are certain parameters that you will use with either of these commands. So I'm just listing a few of them here, the important ones. And I will show you how to uh, look for all the others. So let's start by creating a new connection. So just like IP, we can also use NMCLI to view the connections. So you can write NMCLI con show. So this will show you the connections. Okay. So there are two connections. One I have already discussed ENS 160. Another one is the second one, which is for the virtual machine okay since i am using the virtual machine so if i write here one of them ens so this gives me all the parameters that i was talking about so this is the list of all the parameters okay you can just scroll down okay and you can see on the left here this is the entire list of the parameters that you might be required to set initially or you might be required to modify Right, you can see here IP4 DNS, IP4 gateway, IP4 address. So these are the generally the common things that you are required to modify or set up during a initial connection. Okay, you can see here the name also ENS 160. Okay, press Q. Clear the screen. Now let me give you a very simple example. So let's suppose you are asked to create a new connection so you what you will write nmcli connection add now depending upon what kind of information they give that information you need to specify but few of the basic things that have to be there so the first thing will be the connection name for that the parameter is con name okay so nmcli connection add connection name so you need to write the name of the connection whatever connection name they have specified so let's suppose they say default then what kind of an in what type of the connection or the interface that you will be using so it will be a ethernet connection so type you need to specify so all this information will be given to you in the question okay type is ethernet is e small then what is the interface name so which interface you will be using like i have shown you two interface so which one of those you will be using so let's suppose ens 160 i will be using so this is a very simple example of creating a new connection so i have written the connection name the type and the interface name fine the connection is added an MCLI connection show so you can see here that the new connection is added now in this one I have not specified any IP address or the network mask so let me modify the same 
example this time let's give another name let's post default one rest everything i will keep same and now i will specify the ip address also so ip v4 or ip4 then you write the address let's suppose 160 192.168.1.1 okay the ip address will be given so need not to worry slash whatever network mask they have given so let's assume it is 24 then if the gateway is given so you will write gateway 4 so 4 means ip version 4 and gateway for version 4 again let me assume it is 192.168.1.2 so you can use any ip address for practice okay connection is added check once again so you can see here and if you want to check the detail nmcli connection show default one okay let me check now whatever settings i have given are there or not so you can see here ip address this is the one that i have given gateway also is correct so you can just open up the connection details and verify that whatever you have specified is there or not now to activate this you should use the command nmcli connection up and then name of the connection so let's suppose default one so you can see that the connection successfully activated so you can see now the change default one this is the one which is working now and ens 160 which earlier was the connection which is activated is now deactivated okay so now you can just i will show you this once again now this time i will activate ens 160 just to make it clear what connection app is doing so you can see now okay so now default one is not active whereas ens 160 is active one more thing they can ask in the question is that now what i have done is i am manually activating a connection so once you shut down the system and restart it so once you boot up the system which will be the default connection that should start so what you can do is you can use auto connect while creating or while modifying so one of the parameters is auto connect so auto connect okay so this you can change to yes or no yes means it will automatically connect no means it will not automatically connect now once you have a connection if you want to modify it then you can use nmcli connection mod and then whatever existing parameters are there either you can change in a value for those or if the value is not specified then you can update the value for them so let us give the auto connection value for default one so you can write nmcli connection mod then you specify the name so let's suppose default one and what i want is connection dot auto auto connect what i want is let's suppose yes the value is modified okay you can view connection show default now we need to find connection dot auto connect here it is connection dot auto connect that is yes so now another thing that you can do is you can even change the ip address so let's do that nmcli connection show default one so ip address that i have already assigned is 192.168.1.1 now let me update this so what i will write nmcli connection mod default ip v4 dot address so you see here when we created this connection then i simply wrote ip4 but now what i am doing is ipv4 dot 
addresses so just keep this in mind this you need to memorize whatever new address 192.168.2.2 slash let's suppose 16 updated check it's not updated here 1.1 okay so let me see what went wrong default one okay what i did was i modified default not default one okay so let me do for default one and now if i check for default one you can see here it is updated now one thing important you cannot set the dns value while creating a connection so dns you can only assign with nmcli connection mod okay so if even if you try using NM, nmcli connection add you will not be able to set the dns so ipv4 dot dns and then whatever value is given to you so i'm just picking up a random value oh, connection name i have not given so which connection in default one connection show default one so now you can see ip4.dns value that I have assigned another thing is you can assign multiple ipv4 addresses so so far there is only one address so if i run nmcli connection mod default one to add multiple ip address you need to write plus ipv4 dot addresses then you can assign here the second ip address connection show and now if you scroll down you can see here two ip addresses okay so you might be asked to update any or change up any of these parameters the list is already here the name you can find out from the parameter then just assign the new value and that's it so it's very simple to use the connection add and connection mod only you need to practice a few times and you will be able to do it now the next thing is changing the host name so host name ctl is the command that you can use or you can modify the etc host name file both will do the same thing so if i just show you the use of host name ctl if i write host name ctl it will show me the current host name of the system which is localhost dot local domain okay if i want to change this then you write host name ctl set host name and let's suppose this is what i want rerun host name ctl and now you can see that the host name is changed so this is a very simple question you have to get this correct okay now let us try a few questions based on nmcli before we end this so you can practice these few questions so before we begin with the questions do not forget to like subscribe and comment the question number one is create a new connection named net type is ethernet interface name is eth0 ip address is given gateway is given and dns is given so what we need to do is nmcli connection add connection name is net type is ethernet interface name is eth0 ip4 200.0.0.12 slash 16 so this is the ip address that is given gateway is given 20.0.0.1 okay so the connection is successfully added 
now i have not added dns as, as i have already told you for that we need to use connection mod connection name is net now you write ipv4 dot tns and the value is 8.8.8.8 now you can check connection show net cross check all the values here dns ip address gateway whatever finally if they have asked you to make it active or i put yes you do it so you write an mcli connection up net Okay, although I'm getting an error because the interface name that I have specified is not there. Okay, but whatever they will specify or you give, use a valid interface name like in my case, I should have used ENS160. Okay, so because that's the name of the interface in my system. Don't worry about that. Okay, you just choose a valid interface name that is there in your system or in the exam, whatever they provide you will be a valid interface name and you will get this active connection okay so now here is one question for you to practice configure this network connection so do practice this and this one also okay set the host name to server any kind of doubt you can just uh, post up a message and i will be happy to reply so i hope that after this video you will be able to confidently attempt any question on networking